morning and welcome to the 10 acre woods mark here on this gonna be a hot day it's already sunny uh, it's been pretty uh, smoky from the wildfires uh, up north uh, so um, but it's uh, not too bad today just uh, getting getting a little warm so um, Tara has gone in and done some shopping uh, and uh, I can't remember the particulars so I will let her take it over so one of our followers contacted us apparently there is something on her insurance that it's community related so she applied for um, us to receive her community award yeah or portion award money so monetary. insurance company has a portion which is a community um, kind of uh, a grant so that grant is what, $200? $200. So okay. she's like, I need you to go spend $200 and then we'll give her the receipts and yeah. her, she'll <laughs> give it to her. It's actually pretty hard to spend, but it is, but it isn't. Okay. So anyways, Charlie got a new pool. Yeah. So and this is a concrete mixing it's tub. It's a concrete mixing tub. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, it looks pretty secure. It does. Yeah, it's, so I think this will, yeah. will do him well. It's a, the it's a right size for him. He'll fit yes. nicely. He got a toy. Yeah. And he got a bed because come winter he's going to be the only pig that uh, he's going to be by himself. So he'll have probably be in the barn. In the barn, you said? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. on a concrete floor, he needs a bed. Um, yeah, okay. And then in the winter, this will become his litter box. Yeah, ah, yeah, we'll see see how he does there. Clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just has to choose that. Is he gonna want to poop in his what he I knows is his know. bath? We'll see. Or were we gonna have to get him another one? <laughs> we'll see. Either way, he'll just poop uh, in a corner, no big. Yeah. And then I went and picked up. Um, so right now, when we feed the alpacas, they each have these great big bins that in are in. They're wider. Yeah. Right. So these are thinner and uh it will sit along the fence in the barn when they come running in yeah. so for so goats less invasive. and then uh yeah so they'll be able to have two eating from one fairly easily yeah uh rather than you know them kind of fighting they over go, one yeah, yeah turn, get your, your nose turn, out your get turn. your nose in get yeah. your get out of here spit at me i can also yeah. spread it out where i probably won't use this we'll see yeah but, no i don't think you're gonna need yeah. this um i think that's but yeah that's just gonna get in the way they're eating slower because alpacas do tend to eat fast. So I guess what we'll do is we'll have to do an experiment and see how they do tonight. Yes. Yeah, because you haven't fed them. You fed them already this morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but we Charlie's will getting his back. pool right away. Yeah, so we'll go fill that up for him. Uh, we don't know if he's going to play with this ball, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. see. I don't know. You never know. Yeah, he may. <laughs> All right. uh, and then you did get some bug spray as well. I got wasp be gone because, uh, well, I spent a little extra, but because that's okay. you want them to be gone. I right. hit a mud wasp nest when I was mowing. Oh right, you did say that. So yeah, explain to what happened, like you did to us. <laughs> so I'm mowing alongside the the whatever, driveway. The driveway. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm a casual. La 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 la. I do I do it every week. I know what I'm doing. I do it like it's nothing. So I look down and I'm coming at me. I'm like something's moving. I have eyes. I I watch for snakes. I watch for toads. I watch for all that. And lo and behold, there's a whole bunch of wasps. And as I drive over the hole, you can see them all coming out of the hole. So I'm like. Bah! and i'm like across the driveway i was just like so she she geared up to fifth gear and just gave her yeah i don't do i don't do wasps. if hey, she poot. if she would have had nitrous she would have probably hit probably. that button it probably would uh, so here's poot i thought you would uh, you, you had caught poot in that trap and then released her Is oh, that i've it? caught her twice yeah did you put where did you put her did you put her back in the pen or no i let yeah. her out here she just yeah so poot came in what about a month ago was it a month and a half yeah. ago 
So she's a little lop. <laughs> and what we've done is we had it. We saw an injured cat come up the driveway here. Uh, was that last night? That was the night before last. Uh, was it last night? No, night before. Night before. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. So we thought, okay, we we kind of uh, did the old pss, 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 and it stopped. It looked, and then it kind of hobbled this way. So what we did is we put up this here. Um, it's a live trap. And so the cat would go in, go grab something to eat, uh, step on the little pad there and the door spring shut. Uh, so we want to see if we can uh, maybe catch her, uh, see if she needs any care. Um, we don't know, there's you know, a lot of cats around, but um, that's probably how we ended up with six cats. <laughs> So it's now the afternoon and we had uh, a bunch of chores we were doing, cleaning up, uh, getting things done that needed to get done. Uh, and in the meantime, we had an animal that was dropped off uh, and it is a little one. Hello, little buddy. So this is a three, three day old, Tara? Three days old. A three day old piglet. And he or she, we don't know, do we? <laughs> is uh, is hungry. So the and reason, it, it, yeah, the reason why it is actually Charlie's stepbrother. So yeah, one of the one of the pigs that were here from the fire. Chewy, the little fuzzy one, got a found a home, and he fathered a litter. And apparently, Chewy is going to be fixed. <laughs> she says she's going to be fixing them. Hello. She's not uh, not planning on on having any more. Um, all right. So the reason why this little one, which we are naming, you're also naming Chewy. I'm going to name him Chewy. I think. <laughs> okay. Nice and easy. We don't know how long it'll live, or if it will, or. Yeah. So um, what had happened was uh, it was injured. Um, now, you can't really see much from this side, but, um... As soon as the bottle gets in there, you might. Yeah. There you go. But the other side... Okay, so you can see it here. There is... Okay, hang on here. Oh, get it in there. Yep, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. So see. the eyeball above the whole front of the eye. Yeah, on that side. The whole front of the eye and around the head. Yeah. So it was an open wound. Okay. And then on the other side. Right here, under here, can you see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That whole side is ripped open. Yeah. Hang on. Now, it's none, I can't, from what I can tell, from what I can see, it's, come on this side, Mark. Come on this side. It's not, uh, there's no muscle damage. Yeah. yeah. No, but if you look in here, yeah. look up under there. Can you see up under there? Yeah. That whole armpit, right up to the chest, is all ripped open on the inside. So and they're not sure why or how it happened. Yeah. Um, but um, he is, he's, he's in pretty rough shape when you look at him. We'll call it a him for now. Yeah. I'm not sure. But um, Tara had talked to the vet and, and I guess they had mentioned the best thing is just well, to clean the wounds. That's what I said. Yeah. Like, We've learned that stitches and stuff are not the best way to go. You want these wounds to be as open as possible. And to drain, so bacteria doesn't get, uh, <laughs> get in yeah. there and get built up. You want nothing long, so septus, septus is the most common. <laughs> are you done yet? Look, want a little bit more? So got a great attitude, um, lots of energy. Took a while to get on the, the yeah, so that's but I'm great. doing both, doing both bottle and uh, bowl. Bowl. Okay. Both bottle so and bowl. bowl. Yeah, so lots of energy. Uh, so we slept for quite some <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, an hour and a half. Uh, we had him in, mm -hmm. uh, in a slipper. <laughs> slipper works well. Slipper. So. Uh, the also the every time he's up, you'll have to stimulate. Oh, yeah, she have a, you have to stimulate, right? Make that bead happen. He's like, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. He's a snuggler though. 
So he, he does have good, uh, yeah, good energy. The, the key and is no going to be no muscle damage. That it looks like that it that we can see. Yeah. Wait, wait till I flip him over, because now we are very. We've used this for many many years. I know you're so, you just okay. There's lots of lots of movement. <laughs> so there's no bad wounds on the back per se. I know, monkey. Oh, he's got one under his chin, too. So what we want to do with this, we don't need infection in here. So, some eye drops. Yeah, polysporin. Polysporin eye drops in that wound. Uh, that one doesn't go all the way around, but that's a boy. It's a boy? It's a boy. It's a boy. Hi. I know. It doesn't look promising. It just... It's a hit or a miss, because as soon as he... If we can keep the infection off... Keep it... I'm actually going Monday to... I'll pick up an internal antibiotic to see if the vet's got an internal. Mm -hmm. We'll do the external. Then we'll do the internal. And he look, and then he just snuggles. <laughs> but his nose is crooked. Tiana says it just might be to do to the wound, hmm. but see now he's like. Yeah, so the the <laughs> woman that uh, that had them there, I guess were eight, I believe. Did, I didn't. I didn't ask seven, her. Seven. Yeah, seven or eight. I I asked um, how many there were. I think she said seven or eight, <laughs> and this wasn't the runt. No. Um, but she went to work, and when she came home, um, she noticed that he was lying there, not a lot of energy. And he was injured, so she doesn't know. She thought that maybe it was one of the roosters. It, but it looks it, too clean. No, it doesn't look like, because it's a cut. Yeah, it's it, too... It doesn't look like a puncture. Tiana said possibly wire. Yeah, well, that's my guess. Because they are very... Something that... Uh... He don't, don't go, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the nice thing about using the lanolin, so the... Good. He just snuggles right in. Yeah. Is uh, for the first little while, pigs can't maintain their body heat. Mm -hmm. Okay? So with the sheepskin, it will maintain the body heat in there. And uh, if there's any lanolin left on there, it's good for healing too. So. Yeah, he just, now he's going to be out he's for just, a little Yeah, while. he'll be out for a while. Yeah. But he woke up and he just started screaming. Yep. I was like, oh, he's yeah. up. So that was, uh, oh, my glasses. so that was a good feed. That was a good 30, 45, 50, 20, 25 mLs, which mm -hmm. is good because that was an hour and a half, an hour and a half. Yeah. I'll feed him whenever he wants to be fed today. And then tomorrow we'll come up with a schedule. Morning, it is another day. So um, we were uh, doing a few things. We had open farm yesterday. I did a few things around the farm here. Didn't pick up the camera uh, until um, we got in and, and showed you the, the pig in there. Uh, so the piglets, it's sleeping. We're it's not, it's, it's hit or miss. It's not yeah. doing so well, but we'll keep going at it. We'll see how things go with, uh, with the little guy. Yeah. Hopefully uh, he can pull night. through. But it's uh, it's a it's a good one. Yeah. It's a good wound, so. So we'll keep you updated. We just got to keep the infection hopefully, under control, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't. Yeah, hopefully the little guy makes uh, it. Yeah, it's so young. Yeah, three days. So, but. all right, so we're gonna head in and do some feeding. Um, Charlie used the pool yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, right? but you didn't catch it on so video. So I didn't right? catch it. Well, I might be able to catch it on the yeah. other camera. We'll there. go through and do the routine, so. and then I'll show you all the new stuff. Yeah. All right, okay. let's do it.
Oh, I cleaned out the, uh, the water trough yes. yesterday. Um, it's still a little stained. Um, I need a better scrubber. Um, I'm grab one, Daddy. Scrub yeah, one. we picked up. We watched a, a show on. I think the, the the YouTube channel is Hook, um, and it was about Scrub Daddy. So and how it uh, how it started, and so we went and picked one up because it was on like Shark Tank or or one of those programs. Um, and it actually works really good. Yeah, so really good. <laughs> I picked up uh, I picked up one, and Tara was in the city at the same time, and she picked up two of them. Uh, so they worked really well. So I'll have to bring one out and have uh, have out in that area. Uh, ponies are obviously up front. Yeah. Oh, did you didn't get on video the what the rabbit did in here? Eh? No. Oh, the hole. Yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, I heard there was a hole. Digging again. Well, yeah, and we've got to clear this area out, right? Kind of clean it up a little bit. We kind of left it so that uh, they could dig. There's wire that goes underneath, but I think the wire rots over time. Uh, it's just stucco wire. She literally dug a hole, that hole. So she went in, in the house. Okay. And then And then she dug out. That's why it's so big in there. She had dug this hole out. One rabbit dug wow. this all out and piled it in there. <laughs> but the ground was still intact here, but uh, it was only held up by wire. Yeah, so you can see some a little through, bit of wire. And I went there. Through. There's the there's the culprit. Right there. <laughs> so I, I Just have, a little sweet little thing. <laughs> so I have been uh, soaking it to get it down into the holes. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're the one. I <laughs> just keeping busy. Morning. Fernando. Well, I just put food down. Yeah. <laughs> He's just turning into a grumpy old man. Come on, boys. He's like, what is in there? There's got to be more in there for me. Come on, Jasper. Are you the, oh, there. Okay. I was like, I thought I saw Java come with you. <laughs> All right. Chansey's got to be in here, too. Oh, oh there she is. <laughs> All right. So we're down to the final four. Uh, so the other alpaca, which was Pedro and Juanita, uh, they headed out um, last week. And so we've got uh, the two boys and the two girls. You got something hanging off your mouth there, Java. What is? What are you eating? Is that bark? <laughs> Come on in. We're gonna go try out the new feeder. Okay, dinner is served. Breakfast served. In the new troughs. And Paula's a little confused. <laughs> because I think there was one down at the far end, right? Okay. Java, good. Java's over on this one. All right. Java, just stick to your lane. <laughs> uh. Girl, boy, girl, boy. Oh, usually the uh, boys and girls like to eat together. <laughs> Guess they got confused. <laughs> well, they seem to work good. Yeah. I was concerned that their noses would be too big, but oh, they fit nicely. What? What? I just moved my hand. <laughs> She's like, what? 
All right, good job. And what about the pigs? Oh, they were sleeping. Are they sleeping? Yeah, I didn't see them out in the yard. Uh, we got new fly strips up, so Tara took down all the old ones because well, they were pretty much. And look, there's no flies. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, there is some. Well, no, but on the walls. Oh. It's not littered with yeah. flies. No, there were tons and tons of flies all over. Just a bad year for flies. Yeah. So, but because now I leave the lights out. There's. Uh... Yeah, because they could come in at night. Yeah. Because um, we would normally have the chicken light on, right? Well, it's on till 10. Yeah. But there was never that flies. Like, yeah, it was just... It's a, a bad fly year, I guess. How are we doing? We almost done? Oh, you got some bits in there. Yep, get them all up. All right, are we done? Shansy's done. All right, there we go. Blackie and of course Turbo. Yep. <laughs> it didn't come in. Turbo. Yo, mister. What's he eating? Trying to eat oh. what's <laughs> back here. What's left of Blackie's? Yeah, the scraps. Lick in the bowl. Lick in the bowl. Um, so this is um, Charlie's new pool. So it's actually a concrete uh, mixing container uh, but it's a hard plastic not like a not like a pool like a kiddie pool so and it's just his size so uh, he was in here yesterday uh, Tara had mentioned that uh, he was enjoying it uh, Penny and her little guinea baby <laughs> so the guinea will soon be larger than mama but they stick together <laughs> most of the time sometimes uh, they get separated uh, and then this here, so this is a, uh, a little ball. I think it's meant for a dog or something, but we thought... Uh... <laughs> we thought... We'll see what happens. I don't know. Will Charlie play with it? Uh, we're unsure. We just had some people stop in, and uh, look at this. Give us some apples. So it is apple season. And uh, we just ask that they're not rotten. Um, so, with that being said, let's uh, let's go back and see what the kids want. You guys want some apples, Billy? Want some apples, Billy? Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, he'll work on that. <laughs> Uh, Levi, Meadow. Oh, I gotta come to them. Okay. Says I got my hay. Here, guys, look. This trumps hay. Look, apple. Really? <laughs> there. <laughs> they don't. They don't want to walk too far away from their hay. <laughs> there you go. More to come. It's more where that came from. <laughs> I think they enjoy it. Uh, all right, so that is it. Um, we've got open farm starting up right away, and it is Sunday, and I have to get this video out for you guys. Uh, so we'll keep you updated on the piglet. Hopefully, we're hoping. You know, they're just keep in mind that that it, they don't always uh, work out, but. Um, you know, we've been in touch with the vet and talked to them and, and tried to best find the best course of action. Uh, Tara is going in and, and picking up a few things uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, so hopefully the little piglet's around next weekend uh, and uh, we'll be able to celebrate that victory. Anyway, take care. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.